thank you president colleagues i will be less grateful than the previous speakers from the very beginning the ifm directive targeted the city of london an industry that was sufficiently regulated by the british authorities already as usual the eu misses the point it is the bank's reckless lending that caused an almighty credit bubble and the financial crisis and not the alternative investment funds will this regulating regulation prevent a further crisis absolutely not but it will certainly succeed in driving away managers from london sadly they will not go to paris or frankfurt but instead further afield to new york and singapore are we in a position to afford such business loss of course not but the eu does not care this directive will add significantly to the cost of these funds and reduce returns driving smaller funds out of business its capital requirements will make it difficult for private equity funds and it is venture capital startups that will suffer the consequences funny enough the commission claims it wants to encourage research development and entrepreneurship to restore growth to the european economy instead of encouraging venture capital they are putting their trust in public funding which is too cumbersome and useless for this purpose it is also incredible to see how the eu has designed this directive from its ivory tower turning deaf ears to the regulatory developments in the rest of the world and adopting a protectionist and arrogant method where the european securities and marketing agency will have the last word on who does business in europe and where european funds invest but where is mr cameron in all of this he has betrayed the city of london the most important british industry he has allowed yet another transfer of power to brussels without giving the british people a referendum on behalf of the british alternative fund managers i can only say thank you very much mr cameron don't come to us to help reactivate the british economy thank you